All right, so we had a huge update last night and I've got the official patch notes for you. There's a lot to cover in this because we had a lot of changes, which is always good for the game. So season seven is dwindling down, but this update was one of the best in my opinion. So of course this is version 17.40 and with this update, Wild Weeks return. Do you guys remember Wild Weeks? So for a full week, they bring something back into the game or something new and it's for an entire week. The official blog post for the update says this. The invasion is reaching its climatic conclusion as new tactics are being deployed weekly to turn the tide. Starting Thursday of this week, so today's Tuesday, so that would be the 19th of August, two days from now, every epic pistol, epic assault rifle, and bolt-action sniper rifles will be replaced with their stealthy variants. Suppressed pistols, suppressed assault rifles, and suppressed sniper rifles. That's awesome! I love the silent scar. I can't wait for that. And the pistol. Now remember, it says epic or greater. So that means the common and uncommon and those lower rarities won't be silenced. Only the epic version and legendary. Now next it says to avoid being seen as well as heard, the aliens are countering this by deploying more propifiers across the island. And in keeping up with trends, more vendors are supplying prop disguise services. Combine the sneakiness of a prop disguise with the silent precision of a suppressed sniper rifle and the enemy won't know what hit him. Sneak Week also comes with a legendary quest chain related to the week's theme, so jump in and earn extra XP. So for the entire week starting this Thursday, it's nothing but silencers, more propifiers, and more prop disguises being offered at NPCs. Should be an awesome week. And as I mentioned, it says more Wild Weeks coming, Based on alien and IO behavior, it looks like this is just the beginning. Each Thursday until the end of the invasion, a new Wild Week and accompanying legendary quest chain will debut that's sure to shake up your strategy. So this is week one. We've got a few more to go. Can't wait to see those. Next up, it says new mode, Imposters. Version 17.40 introduces the new mode, Imposters. Ensure the safety and security of the bridge, the IO's top secret facility, as an IO agent or sabotage the imagined order from within as a hidden imposter. In Imposters, players will take on the role of agents or imposters stationed at the bridge. Complete assignments like calibrating llamas and delivering storm reports, but keep an eye out for anyone untrustworthy because the imposters will be sabotaging and eliminating anyone in their path. Report any dubious behavior and vote out who you think's an imposter, but be careful not to choose incorrectly. Imposters is available as a public match or with a private party sized 4 to 10. With danger around every corner, trust nobody. So obviously this is a take on Among Us, and from what I've read from my own fans, it's even better than Among Us. So I'll do a gameplay and review on that mode, stay tuned for that. Next up is the file on the Burst Pulse Rifle. It says, first there was Dr. Sloan's special pulse rifle, but now another variant has appeared. Did the aliens take the tech and add their own improvements? The alien Chimera is selling the Burst Pulse Rifle. A pulse rifle that fires two round bursts when aiming down sights and has a bigger clip size. On a side note, if you decide to approach Chimera, could you get a few pictures? I'm not sure what that means. I haven't approached Chimera yet, so I guess we'll have to see. Now, I'm not a fan of the Pulse Rifle, but a Burst one may be a little bit better. I can't wait to try this. So what else is new in Fortnite Battle Royale in version 17.40? Well, Coral Castle's Chaos. It says, after a crater's been left in the place of Slurpy Swamp, the mothership has moved on to its next victim, Coral Castle. As with Slurpy Swamp, during its abduction, head to Coral Castle to battle in the mothership's low-gravity tractor beam, hopping from one uprooted part of the POI to another. The aliens calculated that Coral Castle will take the same amount of time to abduct as Slurpy Swamp, so keep coming back during the week to see how things have changed. Now we had some major bug fixes, this is what they said. Fixed a preferred item slot issue involving double item slot items such as the chug cannon, moving to the incorrect slots when the player picked up a new item. Next it says fixed an issue involving cosmic chests being unopenable if a player had left the team during the match. And lastly fixed an issue that caused us to disable prop disguise services from vendors. These are now re-enabled. And lastly it says miscellaneous, please note that the sneak week, wild week, and burst pulse rifle are not present in competitive playlists because they are sissy Barbie girls. So that's the end of the patch notes. Let's just take a live look at the Coral Castle abduction process. You can see the giant tractor beam just like Slurpy Swamp. 
So I wonder if more people are going to drop here now. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are coming. So that's good because Cora was always unattested. Nobody liked landing here. But like I said, it was a pretty good update. We've got all sorts of new things, including that new game mode. So I will cover the new game mode. I'll cover the new pulse rifle. And obviously we're looking at Coral Castle right here. So check this out. I see a boat in the middle of the sky right there. And there's a lot of rocks you can hop around. And of course those rings are still there where you can fly through. Actually, I'll go through one right here. You can see, Whee! Pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot the gravity is like super cooper tough. Looks like we got some IO chests here as well. Oh wow, a gold. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.